this interrelationships of our skeletal, muscular, and nervous systems, what will we do without them? Today, we're going, we're going to talk about the basic framework of your body. Do you know what that is? The skeletal system! Woo! Okay, let's get started. Your system provides a living structure for your body. You can do this without it. Strong bones such as your vertebrae and your spine support your upper body and head. The skeleton plays a big role in the mo in movement because it provides a stable framework from the muscles. It also protects your internal tissues and organs from trauma. The skull, vertebrae, and ribs protect the brain, spinal cord, and your heart and lungs. Bones store minerals such as calcium and phosphorus, which are essential to the health of your skeleton. Bone marrow is a connected tissue in your bones that produces white and red blood cells. Hey, do you want to go up to the attic? Why? Because we might find some skeletal systems up there. Yay! Oh, no!
the skull. The skull. The mandible jaw. The clavascal collarbone. The scapula shoulder blade. The stira. The ribs. The humor. The radius. The ulna. The carpal bone wrist. The metacarpal bone hand. The phalange fingers. The femur long bone. The patella kneecap. The tibia long bone. The fibula long bone. Tarsal bone ankle. Calcaneus heel. The tarsal bone foot. Phalanges toes. Pelvis. Uh, lower vertebrae, the lower back. The thoracic vertebrae is the upper back. The cervical vertebrae is the neck. And that is the nose of the skeletal system. Yay! Yay! Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed our show. Right here's a quiz. I hope you listen.